Hello, and welcome to Grug Gaming, and welcome back to our playthrough of Knights of the Old Republic. Woo! If you remember, we had finished checking out pretty much all of Upper Terrace, and it was time to head to the cantina. So let's take a look at where that is. I think we need to go back this way. Nope, oh, over here, to the upper city. First, though, looks like we need to get a little bit of healing done, so let's do our quick little warp home. And then we'll go ahead and we will warp on back. Perfect, we're all healed up. Pardon us, folks. Pardon me. Coming through. Here we are, Upper City South. And if I remember correctly, over there is where Mr. McShady's waiting for us. Down here should be where that cantina was. Oh, so far away. We should buy a car or something. All right. Hello, Mr. Sith Trooper. Pardon us while we walk into the cantina fully armed. That makes sense to me. Oh. Smooth jazz cantina. I like it. Let's see what people have to say. Don't you just love watching the Kazakh players? All that strategy, all those credits. It's enough to make a girl get all flushed. Hmm. I don't know what Pazak is, but. Body Vaughn. Have you come here just to bother me, or do you wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taurus? <laughs> I've come to find your nuclear vessel. No, let's see. Who are you? My name is Niklos. I'm the unofficial champion of the Pazak circuit here on Taurus. If you don't mind losing your wager, we could play a few hands. Um... I want to play Pazak, but I don't have a deck. You don't even have your own deck? Then why are you bothering me? You can't play Pazak without your own deck. If you're serious about Pazak, go speak to old Garok on the other side of the tavern. His gambling days are over, and uh, he's looking to sell his deck. All right. I was told you could sell me a deck of Pazak cards. Hello there, youngster. You interested in buying the Pazak deck of an old man looking to get out of the gambling game? Just 50 credits, and I'll sell you all my cards. I'll even throw in a free lesson to boot. It's a great deal, if you can afford it. Sure, I'll buy the deck. But first, why are you giving up gambling? Don't get me wrong. The game's been good to me over the years. I've traveled the span of the galaxy, from the core worlds to the farthest reaches of the Outer Rim. I've won countless fortunes, and lost countless more. But that was long ago. Things have changed. Gambling is a young man's game. That's why I'm looking to get out. My offer still stands. Fifty credits get you my old Pazak deck and a free lesson. Great offer if you can afford it. Sure, I'll buy your deck. Glad to see you're interested in the grand old game. The rules are pretty simple. Here, I'll load them up into your data pad so you can check them out anytime you want. Good luck. I hope the game's as good to you as it was to me. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Um, you said you'd teach me how to play. Oh, handy, another tutorial. Well, let's look through this, folks. Before each Pazak match, you must select ten cards to form your side deck. Four of these cards will be randomly drawn to form your hand during the match. A basic Pazak deck has two of each card numbered plus one to plus five, available to create a side deck. You will find other side deck cards as you play Knights of the Old Republic with values ranging from plus minus one 
to plus minus six. Select ten cards to form your side deck now. Well, we haven't got a lot of options here. Uh, yes, we're sure we want to play. The object of the game is to have your face-up cards total higher than your opponent's hand without exceeding a total of 20. Alright, so it's blackjack, but we want to get to 20. If a player's total is greater than 20 at the end of a turn, a bust, the opponent wins the set. A player must win three sets to win the match. The first player draws a card from the main deck and plays it face up to begin their turn. This is done automatically. This is your hand for the match. It is made up of four cards randomly drawn from the side deck you selected earlier. These cards have to last through all sets of the match, okay? After drawing a card, a player has the option of playing one of the cards from their hand. You can only play one card from your hand each turn by dragging it onto the board, or by double clicking it. Playing a card from the hand is optional. If your total is over 20 after your draw, and you have a negative card in your hand, you can play it to bring your total back down under 20. During your travels, you might find cards that can be played as either a negative or a positive value. These cards are very rare, but they give Fazak players a strong tactical advantage. A hand card must be declared as positive or negative before it is played. While it is in your hand, you can flip it back and forth, but once it is played, it cannot be changed. A player's turn is over when they elect either end turn or stand. If you choose end turn, you will draw another card on your next turn. If you choose stand, you will not draw any more cards and you cannot play any more cards from your hand until the next set of the match. You may now choose to play a card from your hand to end the turn or to stand. Well, we got an 8, so let's go ahead and end our turn. Your opponent uses the same rules you do. Each turn they draw a card and then they have the option to play a hand card to end turn or to stand. So we got a 9. We're at a 9, so we'll end turn. He's a dirty cheater. If a player's total is exactly 20, they automatically stand. The opponent can continue to play until they stand or bust. So 17. We could get to 20 and use two cards. Mm, let's just see what happens. When you select end turn, you will automatically draw another card at the start of your next turn. Remember, if your cards total more than 20 at the end of your turn, you will bust and your opponent wins the set. Alright, so now we can tie. Perfect. A match continues until one player has won three sets. Ties do not count. You are never given more hand cards in the match, so use the four cards you have carefully. Ten, we'll end turn. Ooh, a natural twenty. If a player's total is exactly twenty, they automatically stand. The opponent can continue to play until they stand or bust. Another tied set. A match continues until one player has won three sets. Ties do not count. You are never given more hand cards in the match, so use the four cards you have carefully. Okay? Got a 10. An 18. Let's go right for the 20. The players told exactly 20 that you've already told us this. Really? That just seems cheap. Eight to four, nine to seven, eleven to nine, sixteen to eighteen. Yes, we're, we're well aware game. So we got nineteen. He stood, so if I stand, we should win. Yes, so we won that one. Continues for three sets. Seven, we'll go ahead and thirteen, we'll draw again. Eighteen. Let's stand at eighteen. Oh, we're good at blackjack. I mean Pazak. Got a seven. A 
17. Stand on 17. Always stand on 17. That way he can cheat. You got a 9. Man, this smooth jazz is killing it. Let's add this one. Get to 20. Take that, video game. I know how to play video poker with the best of them. The match is over. And we have a Pazak deck. Let's see if he has anything else to say. Back again? Is there something old Garouk can do for you? Or did you just come to chat with a lonely old man? Uh, let's see if he can answer of any course, questions. Of course, My mind isn't as sharp as it used to be. That's why I'm giving up the gambler's life. But I think I can still manage to answer some simple questions. Uh, do you know anything about those Republic escape pods that crashed down in the Undercity? I spend my days here in the cantina, sipping ale and chatting with the folks who wander by. I don't have much use or care what goes on outside these walls. I don't see much point in worrying about that kind of stuff now that I've given up the gambler's life. Is there anything else I can do for you? Obviously not. We are done with you, good no, sir. Of course, of course. No sense in a youngster like you wasting your days away with an old man in a dingy bar. But if you ever want to chat, you know where to find me. Well, it appears we have gotten our first set of Pazak cards. So Pazak is going to be a way for us to make money. And we're going to need a lot of money in this game. So we're going to cut away for a minute. I'm going to play some Pazak off camera and build up our money. So right now, before we do that, we are sitting at 265 credits. Folks, we'll return in a moment and see how much money we can rack up playing against the computer. Alrighty. So we've been playing against Nicholas here for a little bit. We've won ourselves a little bit of money. We're up to 465 credits now. I do not lose at Pazak very often. But you've made the habit of beating me. I think it is obvious what that means. You cheat! There is no way I cheat. There is no way that I have a magical way to undo history and go back in time and replay the matches that I lose at Pazak. You can't make an accusation like that without proof. I have not been able to figure out how, but I know you're cheating. I'm simply too good to lose this often. And I refuse to play Pazak with a cheater. You can leave now, cheater. I won't be wasting any more time with you. I I believe, sir, that you are mistaken. But we will move on. Apparently we can't talk to her all of a sudden. There we go. I saw your match against Nikos. He doesn't lose very often. I bet you could make a lot of credits as a professional Pazak player. You know, I bet I could you're too. You're my kind of guy. Rich and handsome. Just the way I like them. Why don't we slip away to the tap room together? The bartender can mix us up something special for only 20 credits. If you play your cards right, Pazak might not be the only game you get lucky at tonight. Well, sounds good. Here's 20 credits. I love a man who's not afraid to spend his credits. I'll meet you in the tap room. Don't be too long. I'm not a patient girl. Oh, we'll be along in a moment. Christia? Let's not draw any attention to ourselves by, say, running and flinging so- Oh, I can't stop it. So what's going on over here? Wow. Are you really a noble? You must be pretty rich, right? Is your family important? I can trace my lineage back five generations to one of the founding houses of Terras. In fact, oh, we seem to have some unexpected company, my darling. Oh, don't pay attention to him. He's just some Pazak player I met. He's not an actual noble like you. Come on, sweetie. Let's go back to your mansion. I... I am appalled and aghast. Ma'am, I spent a good $20 to liquor this up. And this is my reward. Goes to show you, folks. 
Well, let's see what else is going on here in the cantina now that we've been flustered is the word we'll use. Hello, Jurgen. No hard feelings, my good man, but I can't really talk with you right now. It's difficult enough to draw the interest of the ladies in this establishment as it is. You're telling sure, me. You understand what I'm talking about. I guess you've experienced many lonely evenings, something I'm hoping to avoid tonight. Can I stab him? No, I can't stab him. That's upsetting. Anyone else in here to talk to? Doesn't look like it. The Sith are hunting for any Republic soldiers who escaped the battle overhead. They even sent a patrol into the Undercity to look for survivors. Oh. Anyone with a name around here we should talk to? What do we have in here? I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match. Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? It's Duncan and Gurlon fighting. It's not like we're going to miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start. So quit complaining and just watch the view screen. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now, I hope all your bets are down because we're ready to roll. In this corner, I give you Gurlon Twofinger. And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again, is the ever-persistent Jedi Duncan. Oh, that's no good. And to nobody's great surprise, Jedi is down again. Don't worry, folks. He's just unconscious. As usual, our medics will have him up and about in a bit. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? So I give you the winner, Gurlon Twofinger. Huh. Space gladiator combat, you say? I think we need to get involved in this. Let's talk to this that spectator. Twitch is an animal. You couldn't pay me enough to get into the ring with him. Okay. This is the guy who just won. I haven't seen you around here before. You looking to step into the duel ring? Or did you just come to watch? Ooh. Duel ring? What are you talking about? What? Why are you here if you don't even know what the dueling ring is? I don't have time to answer your questions. I need to stay focused for my next match. Maybe Azure can help you out. He's the hut over there in the corner. He arranges all the duels. Well, I think we may have to talk to him. How are you doing, Deadeye? You're looking a little worse from where. Fresh meat? You want a piece of me? You want to step in the dueling chambers with me? Um, yeah. I think I do. Big talk. Go speak with the hut in the corner to back it up. He's the duel organizer. I'll look forward to our match. Fresh meat is just what I need to end my losing streak. Oh, you overconfident so-and-so. We have a what date with destiny, you and I. Not only do I want to step into the dueling ring, I want that dead eye sucker over there. Fibroblades and blasters, and nobody ever dies. 
How come I get the feeling you're trying to take us for a ride? I already told you. I'll do it. But I want more than 10%, buddy. Dang, huts. Fine, we'll take your 10%. <laughs> the mysterious stranger, eh? Ah, uh, well, let's go ahead and take it. We don't want anyone to know that it's us. This is for the best. We could use those credits from these duels, but using your real name is too risky. The Sith might have come across a crew manifest back in the air spire. Oh, I want to step in the ring, but I think we're going to need to do that on the next episode. <laughs> Nope, that's okay. We'll be back. We definitely will. Folks, we're going to return on the next episode of Gaming with Grug to enter these matches and show Deadeye Duncan that he can't talk to us like that. So we'll see you then on the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching, and we hope to see you soon. <laughs>